So we're going to be looking here at the way to edit schools now. This information stays the same as it was before. And we just got the name of the school and the logo and mascot and website here. But then we have these sports sections here now too. So we have fall sports. If you want to add a fall sport, let's say you're going to be adding football, then you type in football for the name of the sport. You add a coach, you just fill in this information. And so then we have John Johnson and then this is the coach's info here, and right now we're not even utilizing that, um, but at some point you might still want to go back to having the option of a biography for them or something of that nature. So that can go in that spot if we get to that point, but right now, I, as I understand it, we're not actually utilizing that. Then we have the um, coach image here, and all you got to do is just select the image of the coach. So we'll say this is him here, and then you could add more coaches, but... I don't think that's really the way we're looking at doing it at this moment. We're just talking about the head coach at this time. And then down here, we have links and other info. This is where the uh, those that bullet pointed type list we were talking about to do with schedule and such would go. And I wanted to leave it a little bit open-ended here so that then if there's something else that you want in that spot that we don't have to be doing any sort of crafting something custom for it. So anything that you want to go underneath there can go in this spot, but it's intended for being a bullet pointed type list of those links. And so what you would do is say the 2018 roster for football, and then you would link it to wherever that is because you all are just talking about having some sort of file for that right now. Um, if you're going to be adding that, um, if that's going to be housed here, then you can upload the PDF here. Let me see if I have some PDF I can upload temporarily. We'll just upload this one for the moment, and we'll delete it here soon. When you upload this, then you can just copy the URL from right there. Let's just select all on that, get the URL, and then you can link it up to where it says 2018 roster. If you're wanting that to open up in a separate window, which or a separate tab, which might make sense, then you can go into the settings there and do that. And then just type in whatever other things you want. Um, you might want to, they might have some special page with a video for it or something, or you might even, uh, so it'd be like a link to the YouTube page, so YouTube video of roster. Um, and it might even be that you want to embed something in there, and there's room to do that, so you could do a little YouTube embed or something of that nature. Uh, but it's flexible there in that spot. And then uh, that's all football right there. You want to add another sport, you type it in here. And so then whatever other fall sport you have, then it would be um, it'd be in that spot as well. And you go through the same process. And you do that for winter, spring. The other content here, this is the stuff that goes at the bottom of the page. Uh, so then we were looking at having um, a handful of page sections there. There's other training videos that cover all the details of getting those things in at the bottom of the page. But uh, basically you can do whatever you want here and you can make it so that these are less than full width if you want them to be some other width instead. And then you use this just like a word processing type system. Like I say, there's other training for that. Uh, so if you have questions, let us know. Not everything's going to be looking quite right there on the page right now. We're working on that at the same time, but you should be able to at least fill in that information and it should be able to work just fine. Hope that works.